Welcome back to my channel, SciTechKur. In this video, I'm going to talk about the latest software update uh, details on the OnePlus Nord 2. So what is the update size and what are the features it did include in this device and what are the bugs got fixed in this phone. That's what I'm going to exactly explain in this video. Just a couple of minutes back, I did get a lot of messages regarding the OnePlus Nord 2 update did I receive or not. After reading the messages, as soon as I got, I did go to the settings and I did search for the software update. Then immediately I had got the software update. This is the one thing which I did like in the OnePlus phones. So whenever, not only this one, this time friends, whenever I, I see the comments saying that uh, the OnePlus Nord 2 users are getting the update. So immediately I used to go to the settings and I used to get the update on the same day at same time itself. That's the one thing which I did like in the OnePlus phones. So basically with the updates, all the users will get at same time. So it doesn't happen with other UIs. That's a kind of other thing because till now I'm waiting for, I think close to seven days or maybe eight to 10 days of time in the IQ7 device till I did not get. Even in the Realme X and Max, where is Realme X and Max? I think it's hiding somewhere around here. So even that phone did not get the software update. It's been 10 days I've been waiting, no, not at all. But this OnePlus phones, I did like this one thing. The software updates will be instant. For all the users, it will be reflecting on the same day. And the update size is about close to a 375 MB size. As you can clearly see, that's the update size. And next thing, what are the features it included? So in terms of the system improvement, so reduced the power consumption in some scenarios. So maybe if you feel any kind of battery draining problems, so this update might fix. So next thing regarding the optimized some text for the system okay updated six, android system uh, security update to the september so right now it's kind of october month but it updated to the september security patch update not bad fixed the known issues and the improved stability and next is regarding the optimized the network connection stability as well that's also another thing in camera segment improved the hdr effect in some shooting scenarios so hdr is improved in some shooting that's also not bad so let me to download this update and right now i'll try to install and in case if you have any other queries on this latest update let me know in the comment section below friends what are the other things you want me to test on this oneplus not to definitely i'll try to do those kind of videos as soon as possible so right now i'm very busy with other new phones which i did receive in my studio that's the reason i was unable to concentrate but uh, definitely i'll try to concentrate even on the oneplus not to as well still i do have this phone as well friends i am i did not sell it so right now it's downloading Let's see how much time it actually takes to completely install. That's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate. Restart now 1, 2 and right now it's battery percentage is under percentage. You can clearly see here. Let's see how much battery will decrease and how much time it actually takes to completely finish this process. So right now it's restarting. You can clearly see here. So definitely I'll try to do plenty of other comparisons as well uh, in terms of testing the camera thing, network connectivity thing, in terms of the performance, all these aspects I'll definitely do the testings as soon as possible on this phone. So let me know in the comment section below friends, did you receive the software update or not? If you haven't received, I hope, I think most of the OnePlus Nord 2 users will definitely receive at same time only. So that's what my experience with this phone actually is. This is the one best part I did like in this phone. Software updates, everyone can get at same time. So right now it's estimated time is about close to four minutes of time. Then there is no text written in any kind of Chinese language, nothing at all. So we got the four minutes of time. Let's see how much more time it actually takes. So right now it started to reboot exactly I think around uh, 3 minutes of time as you can clearly see so 3 minutes of time it took to restart so right now the phone is about to restart as well. So I just want to show you friends how much time it actually takes for the latest update to be completely installed so in case if you have the time you can actually do it on there and there itself. So still uh, I am waiting for the Aiku I mean in the end of the Realme X and Max updates so till I did not get the Realme X and Max so is the Realme X and Max device. So I'm not sure when I'll be receiving the September security patch update and it's kind of really inconsistent not all the users are getting at same time so I'm not sure why it's like that why if one company can do it one other company so they need to improve in terms of the software updates sending all the users at same time like they need to improve this kind of uh, development and everything so let's start so four minutes and 18 seconds of time the complete time I took in the one place not to to install and report successful as you can see so it did install with the latest version as well successfully that's it friends thank you for watching this video and in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below definitely ready to do the, my testings on the oneplus not 2 after this update obviously stability and everything system update your device is successfully updated we got the message as well thank you for watching and see in the next video and let's for more updates meanwhile signing off bye